there's 24 hours in a day, isn't it? Yes. All right. So, what Egypt was teaching us in the pyramids about this year, as above, so below. Everything in this light here is based on these angles right here. Right. So, when you have your first meal in the morning, your first intake, let's just say you take a meal at 6 o'clock, it's supposed to be an 8 hour period. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, your last meal should be 2 o'clock. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to eat the whole 8 hours, but it means once you intake your first intake, the process is an 8 hour process for all inventory or intake. After the body does that, this portion of your body stops working and it assimilates. This portion takes out the minerals, the vitamins, the proteins, and it utilizes this in 8 hours. And when this 8 hour process is over, it dissipates, it sends it to the garbage chute. Send it out to the waste, urinate and defecate in another eight hours. In another eight hours. Mm -hmm. So if you were to eat in this hour here, the body says, I'm done working. Put that in the storeroom. I ain't got no time for that. My shift is over. It stores in the body and becomes fat. Mm -hmm. When it comes around here, when it's time to dissipate and you eat it, it says, I don't have my waste to throw for the day. You have to store that shit in you until tomorrow. You keep that shit there until tomorrow because I got my work to do here. And I'm not doing nobody's shift. So 24 hours, 8, 8, 8, 24 Ooh. hours in the day. That's, That's the pyramid or the pyramid, which means fire in the midst, which represents your solar plexus, which is the fire that's connected to the sun. You are the sun. That's you. Once you follow that pattern right there, that's the key to everything for your well-being. Shit, where did you, where did you, where did you learn that? Yeah, where did you learn that? Um, my brother, I have a brother that studied with, studied with Dr. Sebi and other brothers. Like um, one of the brothers did something called a meta -nitter. And um, he dedicated a lot of his time into doing extensive research on his own. And coming up with that, he found out a lot of information from other places like Egypt and other countries where these people in them are very big on their diet and their health. So my brother dedicated his time to studying this. And um, I was fortunate to be able to be around him and was also interested in it and started to impart these different things as well as give me research to show and prove what I was saying was something that was relevant to our well-being. So, so say you wake up at nine and you eat at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Now you have an eight hour window to be able to eat. Right. And then after 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 p.m. now, you shouldn't eat after that no. because you have another eight hour to be able to assimilate flush the food to go down. Yes. All the minerals, all the vitamins, all Take the protein all has to separate themselves. Yes, yes. So when you do that now, the body stores it. That's how you get fat because the body said, I'm done work, man. I'm done putting my eight to four. What the hell are you giving me all this work for? Let the next shift do that. I'm not with that. But this shift said, but that's not my job. I ain't got nothing to do with that either. This guy, that's his job. So he's gonna come down here. And that's why most of us get this ease or disease because the stores in the most important part of our body, which is here, the digestive system. So the food stays overnight and you get gas and you get all farting all over the place and all this shit from the excessive gas because now it went to the wrong department and this department there is about throwing away the waste, not saving it. It doesn't put in this motion and what it has to do for the day. It has this assignment and now you are breaking the assignment. When you do that, your body becomes dis-ease, discomfort. And that dis-ease goes to the weakest part of your organs and becomes a disease. What do you think about meat? Um, eating meat. We eating meat, I mean, we have the incisors for eating it. And I'm not telling one not to eat it. However, the process in which the meat is being done is not healthy. Why? Because they kill the animals, they traumatize the meat. When the meat is traumatized, it releases something called uric acid. Uric acid does not digest in the human body. That's where they get this goiter and the swelling of the joints. Mm -hmm. Uric acid cannot digest in the human system. And when you eat the animals, the animals, because of eating the green grass, the uric acid is in them. They are called ruminant animals. They have four stomach to regurgitate and keep going to different stomach. You only have one stomach, 22 feet long. Small and intestines combined is 22 feet. So meat eating is not really healthy for us. If you have to to survive, yes. But if you have a need not to eat it, you don't. Because there's an illusion that this meat carries something called protein. Our body doesn't really need protein the way they say it is. Our body produces this protein from the other foods that we eat. So this thing about you have to have protein so your muscle grows is an illusion. It's a lie. 
that's someone else's concept that they're trying to make us believe we need to be strong. How many protein you need for the day? I ain't seen you probably see you drinking and smoking. How much protein you <laughs> How the hell you open the bar doing all this workout? We were doing competition, deadlifting 315, 385. How did you do that? Which protein? I ain't seen you taking protein check for the day. Even fruits. So fruits. where's the protein? Yeah. So where that you see where I'm talking about? So that's why it's alive. Yes, we need protein, but the body and certain foods produces the natural proteins. Black eyed peas, lentil peas, all these things have proteins in them. All these beans, you have your nuts, Brazilian nuts, one of the best nuts you can eat in the world. Carries omega and all these different things in them. You know what I mean? You have peanuts, you have cashew nuts, you have all these different grains. You have pumpkin seeds that kill parasites in your body because also you have good and bad parasites. They work in symbiotic relationship to help keep balance. And it has protein. Right, so you eat the pumpkin seeds and all these different things. So yes, and then the next issue that we do have is that you can eat the right foods wrong. Meaning that there's a timing to eat certain foods. And if we don't eat it in the right time, it could still cause the same effect. Because it, it's a timing. There's a reason the sun don't wake up, the sun don't start at 7 o'clock in the night. The sun rises at a certain hour, right? And at a certain time, the moon regulates. It's all a timing. And so should your eating be. You feel what I'm saying? So if you're eating in the right timing and eating the right food, you get the full and exact effect what you need. For instance, like fruits. Most fruits should be eaten before the 12 o'clock period. Yes. Because those foods are melanated at that time. It's melanin. So when, when after it after it passes that sundial of 12, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, it changes it into sugar. That food, no, that sweetness so, in the food is a sugar. So, so quick question, right? You said um you said like the eight hours, right? Mm -hmm. So do you think that these eight hours where it's like um I guess that's one for you to. You said the next day. Assimilate. Assimilate. Take, take a hold of take it. Take it. Take you, can, you think it's possible to eat fruits around this hour? Yes, saying. you can. Okay. But I'm saying you would not get the, you would get a different effect from it. If you eat it in this period here, you're gonna get something that we all know as alkaline. And if you ask most people, what is a? If I ask you right now. What is a balanced diet? What would your response be? In eating food, what is a balanced diet consist of? Anyone know? Do you? Alkaline. Give me a, a alkaline here, yeah, but what percentage of alkaline? And what else goes with the alkalinity to make it a complete meal? A complete meal is consists of 80% alkaline and 20% acid. Any food that you eat that is 80% alkaline and 20% acid is a balanced diet. We are alkaline beings. Acidity causes inflammation. There is only one disease. Inflammation. Arthritis is inflammation in your blood. Asthma is inflammation in your lung. Alzheimer's yeah. inflammation in your brain. And we can keep going on. Is inflammation, inflammation is yeah. the only sickness that the body suffers. So if you do the things that avoid inflammation, you're going to have a long, healthy, prosperous life, bro. Only thing that's something, something tragic that you don't know about, but you of your natural life, your history of living is gonna way past the hundreds of years. Because your body will be in pristine shape to function the way it should, in total balance with the symbiotic relation of Earth. The magnetism I'm talking about, we're electromagnetic beings. You might say that. So this is what we do. That doesn't mean that in this eight-hour period, if you come and eat something here, it's a bad thing, really. It's just that they're not gonna get the fullest effect yeah. because this time was designed for that. You know, there are times you come home and you're hungry, you decide to go take a month. You're hungry because you're thinking you're hungry, but you're actually thirsty. Yeah. Because you're a liquid being, so your body really don't need the food, you need the liquid. And again, like I told you earlier, once you start to make these shakes and these smoothies and all these different things with the right things in your food, you could explore all the plants. I make smoothies with the plant and I make H3O2 with the fruits. So I'm taking my water from my fruits and the nutrition, I take it out of all my plants. Go look up partially leaf, go look up pumpkin seeds, go look up all these different things and they all carry different proteins and vitamins and minerals. And as men, we need, when we reach a certain age, we need zinc and magnesium more. Women, they lack in iron and calcium because when they see the period and the body break down, which is the wall in the placenta, they lose iron. So that's why they need iron, but we need zinc and magnesium. And a very important mineral for us is also called selenium. Go look it up, do your research for yourself. I want you to personally go and look into selenium and see what it does for us. Sure, man. Sure, man. Feel me? Copy. So, Thank any you, other question? Thank you, King. No problem. You're welcome. Always welcome. Right, man. Always welcome. Always welcome. Yo, guys, we have broken down how you're supposed to eat 
to be able to stay healthy, be fit, and bring out the godliest side Absolutely. of your physical vessel. Absolutely. 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 <laughs> what else do you need? Like I, said, like I said, look at me, and most people will see me and think I'm in my 40s. How old are you? 60 years old. I'm 60, bro. You started working out when? 40. Jeez. At the age of 40. So this is 20 years in the making right now, and like I said, I was bigger than this, but I'm healthy. Now I'm light. Yeah, I like this. One. Yeah. Let's go. 60 years old, guys. 60 and fit. Check them out. Part four. Part four, Part four man. Check them out, y'all. <laughs> 60 and fit, y'all. Check them out. Flexing. Flexing on the ball. What are you doing eating all this processed foods? Not understanding what time you're supposed like to eat. Like that. No you gotta do up. these. Straight. <laughs> Straight. No warm up. Just like that. Right. Hey guys, man. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, man. And also come to Wingate. Because that's where you're going to find, you know, OGs, the original and that's gods. The gate to that's winning. what we mean by OGs, man. The original gods, man. That's, that's where you're going to find called the Wingate. You know, when you walk through that gate, you're, you're a winner. winner. Yeah, yes. that's it. That's right. <laughs> Let's go. Peace. <laughs>